Hey everybody, today we're going to be learning about triangle congruence, take two. All right, well, take on, take, well, actually, we've been working on it for a while, but we're moving on to the next rules. So today we have, today we are moving on to ASA and AAS. Now we have, we are not going to cover both of them today. We're only going to do ASA. So let's check out, let's check out ASA. You must know that uh, that in order for two triangles to be considered congruent to to prove them congruent you have to prove that the three corresponding angles and the three corresponding sides are congruent there are a few shortcuts though knowing just three corresponding sides sss is enough knowing two corresponding sides and one included angle is enough that's sas now we're going to learn about knowing two angles and one include two and one included side because that is also enough so angle side angle postulate asa postulate if angle a is congruent to angle D, and we know that AC is congruent to DF, and we know that angle C is congruent to angle F, then that's enough to know that triangle ABC is congruent to, tri to triangle DEF. Let's try it out. Let's see if you can spot the triangles that are uh, per, that you can prove congruent by ASA. Now remember, if it shows a side, 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 that doesn't count. We need ASA ones. I want you to show me that you can do ASA ones. Let's give it a shot. Are these triangles congruent by ASA? Yes, they are. Are these tri triangles congruent by ASA? Yes. Are these triangles congruent by ASA? No. <laughs> Are these triangles congruent by ASA? No. Are these triangles congruent by ASA? This one's tricky. Yes, they are. 